Hi students, welcome to Bosco Campus Vision. I am Shankar Ganesh, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Application, Don Bosco College, Kotiyam. I am delighted to present a lecture on the topic Evolution of Information Systems and Total Quality Management, which comes under the subject Information Systems and Knowledge Management. This lecture is meant for semester 5 BCA course of Kerala University. In the previous lecture, we have discussed organizational information systems. Now let's discuss modern organizational information systems and its classification. Information systems support parts of organizations or group of organizations. Each department or functional area within an organization has its own collection of application programs or information systems. These functional area information systems are the supporting pillars of information system. Database researchers have contributed tools and research on managing data. One can classify information systems as decision support systems, expert systems, and office automation systems. Next, we can discuss decision support system. A decision support system or DSS is an interactive computer-based information system that supports business or organizational decision-making activities of managers. Multitudes of decisions are made every day and range from those that are simple to complex. In some situations, where the nature of decision is complex, the decision makers would require additional information, analysis and an appropriate DSS model to support decision making. DSS serves the management, operations and planning levels of an organization and help people make decisions about problems. They are interactive and provide quick response to user queries. It can either be fully computerized or human powered or a combination of both. One sthavanathil aalukalukku paddhathil aasutranam cheyyunnenum prashna pariharangalukkum DSS sahayikun. Characteristics of DSS are they are designed to solve recurring problems. It supports semi-structured problems. It provides decision analysis tools. It allows users to examine alternative solutions. Avartikinna vishayengalkum, aburnamaya khadanayilullah vishayengalkum pariharan kaanugayim, idara margangal abagradikkiyayim okayana DSS inda savishyashitha. Types of Decision Support System The Decision Support System can be broadly classified into two types. First one, Model Based Decision Support System. Second one, Data Based Decision Support System. Model Based Decision Support System are standalone systems that is, they are not connected with other major corporate information systems. Data Based Decision Support System can analyze huge amount of data collected from different sources. This data collected from different sources is stored in data warehouses. Next is expert systems. Expert system is a computer based information system that emulates the decision making ability of a human expert. The expert system extends the application of computers from the conventional mathematical computations to the application. Expert system uses reasoning to render advice, make recommendations or diagnose problems. But it lacks common sense which needs in some decision making. Thirimaningal edukkunnadil vidakthanaya oru manushinumayi kidavidikkunna reethiyilulla or a computer based system on an expert system. Expert systems were among the first truly successful forms of artificial intelligence. The benefits of expert system are 
it reduces the dependencies upon one expert it eliminates errors and reduces inconsistencies it provides improved customer service it holds and maintains significant level of information and it can serve multiple uses simultaneously next we can discuss office automation system an office automation system is a collection of communication technology computers and persons to perform official tasks it executes office transactions and supports official activities at every organizational level it is a core group of functionalities consisting of word processing spreadsheet presentation office database electronic forms email backup utility and operating system used to support day to day office operations these activities can be divided into clerical and managerial activities clerical activities performed with the help of office automation system include preparing written communication mailing scheduling meetings etc under managerial activities office automation system helps in conferencing creating reports and messages and controlling performance of organization many applications like word processing electronic filing and email are integrated in office automation system the backbone of office automation is lan which allows users to transfer data mail and even voice across the network office activity a clerical activity ennum managerial activity ennum randai thirikkunu ஒரு லேனினே ஆஃபீஸ் ஓட்டோமேஷன் சிஸ்டத்தின் நெடுந்தூண் என்று பறையும் அதாவது ஈ லேன் யூஸ் செய்தான டேட்டா ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபரிங் மெயிலிங் ஓகே நடக்கிறது தி அட்வான்டேஜ் ஆஃப் ஆஃபீஸ் ஓட்டோமேஷன் சிஸ்டம்ஸ் ஆர் ஃபஸ்ட் இட் கேன் கெட் மெனி டாஸ்க் அக்கம்ப்ளிஷ் ஃபாஸ்ட் செகண்ட் இட் எலிமினேட்ஸ் தி நீட் ஃபார் எ லார்ஜ் ஸ்டாஃப் தேர்ட் லெஸ் ஸ்டோரேஜ் இஸ் ரிக்யூர்ட் டு ஸ்டோர் டேட்டா In this lecture we have discussed modern organizational information system hope all of you have understood the lecture thank you